What is up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a absolutely insane and sick Death Pro replay. This is a tag duel. This is uh, us over here at the bottom. And man, this is one of those duels, guys, where honestly, it will make you reevaluate everything that you knew about an archetype, or at least everything that you thought you knew. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys right now, never, ever, ever sleep on Herodics, dude, because sometimes you just get you just get fucking knocked into oblivion. I know in the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about ddds and you know i said that there might be the most explosive deck in Yu-Gi-Oh and how mermills can do almost eighteen thousand debt forget all of that dude forget everything that you have seen because i bowed down to the heraldics my homeboy grand shovel dungo plays him to a t that's why i always pick him as my tag partner because i'm like yeah if i'm on his team he's just gonna carry me and you just see the overwhelming odds that we had to go through to to try and win this duel and some pretty just amazing shit happens guys all I'm gonna say is you know i'm gonna have to explain what this deck is doing so i'm gonna have to pause a couple of times so i'm gonna put in a trigger warning on this if you don't like me pausing and explaining cards or you don't like people getting bodied into fucking oblivion just go ahead and close the video now because some of that is gonna happen because come on who knows what heraldics i only know leo and, and advanced heraldi are off the top of my head so we're doing against pony chan sorry anytime i hear chan i automatically think of sanji from one piece robin swan namasan all right so let's see what's gonna happen um as you can see they open like pretty broken uh not even not only does he open with um like he opens with scepter plus sovereignty so he's just drawing cards for days um, and then he activates, what's it called? Ritual Sanctuary. Gets him even more searches. Um, he summons a Herald of Perfection. So it's like he has a Delta Rose. He drew a ton of cards. Um, in addition, he ended up popping his Machine Angel Ritual, uh, which you think, oh, well, why would he pop his own card? It doesn't matter. Like, you can activate it from the graveyard. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? It can protect the Herald of Perfection, and you get the draw to replace itself. In addition, he has Maxi. Like, they opened as broken as you could have possibly imagined. Turn one Delta Rose draw a bunch of cards got the maxi in their hand got Harold to perfect what more do you want and he has the machine angel ritual in the graveyard to protect their head like okay we should pretty much lose right like adds a free copy of Harold to his hand now i decided to like not even go try hard i was playing a scum deck i'm playing you see i'm playing dark world dude i probably should have went with a better deck because in tag duels i feel like i'm letting my partner down if i don't play a good deck but uh I activate Regeki, and again, he doesn't even pitch a card from his hand. He just activates the Machine Angel Ritual, and then I just pretty much set I just set cards. And I'm like, oh, great. Well, uh, sorry, Tag Partner. I just couldn't do anything. But, you know, it doesn't matter. So, they open pretty nice. I got the Brilliant Fusion. Okay, goes for the Saffronite. Um, They use Deltaros. I'm going to Solemn that, because why not at this point? I know they're not playing Teller Knights. So, dude, he has Rescue Rabbit. Gets two copies of Bujin Hiroko. Um, then he summons Trishula, and I'm just like, okay, I'm about to, I'm about to just, I'm about to just AF Quake quit out of this game. Not only did you open Deltaros, draw a bunch of cards. Not only do you have Herald of Perfection, but now you're trishing me. I feel like I've basically been the whooping boy of this duel so far. Like, why, why do I have to be trished? I'm the one getting trished. I'm gonna lose all my good cards. So you know. I end up getting a Skarm in the graveyard that I said. Gets me a tour guide, whatever. At this point, you look at the field and you look at what we have. We have a hand of, like, Heraldics and that's pretty much it. But it's cool, dude, because Heraldics can carry a duel. As long as you know what the fuck you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, don't play this deck. If you know what you're doing, it can actually do some legit things. So, you know, again, keep in mind... This is an open field. I provided absolutely nothing to my tag partner, Grand Shavadongo. He basically did all of this himself. So he goes for Twin Twister. So that ends up getting rid of the Seraphonites. All right. So he normal summons Unicorn. And then he's going to go ahead and activate uh, Kage Takage. We all know what this does. It's basically a card that goes into some rank 4 XC stuff. So you guys just see. He goes into um, Haraldi uh, Patriarch. Okay, that's cool. And then he activates. Oh, I got to get this off. He activates XC Shift. So XC Shift ends up getting you, uh, XC Shift is kind, it's kind of like a rank up card, uh, it's kind of like a rank up card a little bit, and he goes into Heraldi Crest, and believe, dude, he's gonna XC so many different times, guys, it's not even gonna be funny, so he ends up activating Heraldi Crest, and then at the same time, Patriarch is going to summon itself back to the field, that's the tricky thing about that card, um, he ends up sending, I think it was, yeah, he ends up sending this one to the graveyard, whose name, um, 
uh, Aber Conway. Okay, that's fine. And then he activates her Advance Heraldi Art. Advance Heraldi Art is basically if you have two Heraldis in the graveyard, you can summon them, and then immediately after that, you exceed them um, using those two monsters only. So it's like, oh, okay, we're getting Exceed plays pretty much for days. And he goes into another copy of Patriarch, and then he activates Exceed Gift. And I guarantee you guys, this play is actually going somewhere. So this is like the most situational card ever. You literally have to have two face of Exceeds, and then you detach two from an XC monster, and then you draw two cards. But it's cool, because uh, we actually had that condition. He top decks an Instant Fusion and another Red Tarot Art. Like, those were the two perfect top decks, because they both make other XC plays. The crazy thing about Advanced Tarot Art, it's not once per turn, which, I, at first, when he activated it, I was like, that's not once per turn? That's kind of crazy. He goes into uh, the Numeron Dragon. This card is actually not that great, but it's actually OP in this deck, so you guys will see in a minute. Goes for another copy of Advanced Heraldi Art. This time he goes for the Simple Utopia. It goes for Utopia to Lightning. Now, at the point where he activated Instant Fusion, I was like, oh my god, is are, are we actually going to win right now? <laughs> are we actually going to not only... We're not only going to win this duel, but we actually might win this turn. And the thing about in a tag duel, Herald of Perfection is a great card in singles, but in tags, it's kind of useless because uh the the player what's it called like your tag partner has to be playing fairies obviously he's not he's playing like beast warriors and whatnot so he can't use herald of perfection he can't stop any of this that's why i wasn't too afraid of herald of perfection so we see the instant fusion for the nord and that's standard you guys know that and then we bust we bust out dark rebellion xc so now trishula is cut in half now how many of you guys knew that dark rebellion xc dragon was not once returned because on the tv show on the anime it wasn't but you know in real life you have to detach two materials so you're like oh cap it's not relevant you have to detach two just wait just i've never seen this happen in a duel so numeron dragon was activated that sent this to the graveyard that sent the twin eagle to the graveyard so we already got a really impressive field with by the way a numeron dragon that is fourteen thousand attack but wait there's more boys we get two more we get two more xc's back on two more xc materials back on dark rebellion xc dragon and we cut your shula again we cut your shula down the this what is this 500 this is 675 attack i mean Trishula's looking like he's looking like a baby back bitch right now and then on top of that he activates numeron's effect this motherfucker goes up to 16,600 attack guys if you add up our field right now look what let me just show you how much damage he takes he takes almost 16,000 when we run into Trishula. He takes almost 16,000 damage. They only have 7,500 life points off of that one attack. Obviously, we end up closing the game, guys. I actually did a calculator, or actually, I did a calculator. I calculated how much damage that we have on board because we have a 4525, we have a 14,000 attack, we have a 16,600 6, attack, and then we have the, the, the Utopia of the Lightning, which can be 5,000. I actually didn't include. The, the the possibility of the extra 2500 you know what let me add that in because this is the guy this is if you add our field up this is how much damage we have on board but technically considering this can be 5000 let me add 2500 more damage we have a field of a possible let's just say we attacked into a zero attack monster that was in attack position we could have potentially did guys over 40 thousand battle day. that is that's the equivalent of winning five duels in one turn and again this happened in one turn so guys remember everything about all those other decks that i just fucking erased that from your memory guys i crown heraldics the, the kings of you yeah i've never seen this much battle damage and the crazy thing is grand shop dungo does plays like this all the time so you know dude when you have a field like this, I literally have no idea how you don't just get OTK'd because it doesn't really matter. Even if you, even if they had like five monsters on board, we still would have OTK'd. We just had too much damage. So thank you guys for watching this always. Uh, as soon as I recorded this, I titled it YouTube this because I just knew I was like, this has to go on YouTube. Literally a field of 40,000 damage. Like that is insane. Thank you guys for watching as always.